Hi, myself Dr. Amrit Sharma. I have completed my residency in MD in Army and now I am pursuing senior residency from King George Medical University, Lucknow. Let's talk about which uh, college you should prefer for MD in Army as a post graduation. So if we talk about that, if we talk about that, there is very key factor to analyze is that uh, what are your future goals? Are you looking for your private practice after your MD and RT or you are looking into teaching? So if you are looking into teaching or you are looking for better prospect in teaching line, you should go for government colleges. If you are looking for private practice, you should go for private colleges. Why? There is a key difference to that. Like, as we see in private colleges, we don't have bond system. So there is not anything that is holding you off after your MD and RT to go into the private stream and open your private practice. But as we see in the government system, many areas, some area, some in some colleges or some universities and in some states, there are no bond. So I'll say that you can first apply for those colleges. But in many states, many universities, there is bond system. So, and that is also of different years, like some places you will get for one year, other places like in Uttar Pradesh, there is for two years and some places is for seven years also. So this is like uh, very, you know, very, what can I say? Like, you like that English <laughs> I'm just joking. So that is the thing which hold you off for uh, getting into the private practice system after your MD and RT. But you don't practice as an MD and artist. You practice as an MBBS graduate like a general physician. And that pays you well. If you target the right area like peripheries and all, it pays you well enough. Okay. So, one more thing to consider the salary, the stipend. So in government, they pay you well. Monthly stipend are set, like in Delhi or so. In Delhi or in central universities, you get minimum around 1 lakh rupees as a starting stipend. And it grows like 5 to 10, 5% 5 each and every year for three years. And after that, when you become senior resident, you get paid right around 1.2 lakh in central universities it is like 1.4 lakhs and when you become ap they pay you like right now in central universities they are paying you 1.7 to 2 1.5 to 2 i'll say not 1.7 that's 1.5 to 2 as an associate you get around 2.5 and as a professor you get around 3 to 3.5 or 3.5 to 4. So this is the salary bracket in 7th pay system, 7th pay commission. In year or so, like in year or two years, it will get from uh, the system is getting upgraded. We are getting into the 8th pay commission and then salary will, you know, considerably increased. So, I think the future is good for, as an MD and Artmist, if you are looking, if you are passionate towards teaching and if you are looking towards like teaching in university setup and that's all, that's all. If you have any more questions, you can message me here in the comment section or you can follow me on my Instagram and DM me there. My Instagram ID is with the same name, TRG3N. You can search me there. I do many things. So this is my first video where I'm 
speaking in English without looking into anything. <laughs> I'm more comfortable in Hindi. That's that's my you know go to genre. But yeah, it feels good. Ah, uh, there is no script to it, so I'm not reading it out from anywhere. So forget it. Okay, that's all for today. If you have any more questions, I can make an another video. Make another video in tomorrow or so. Please like and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more updates. Thank you so much.